What's up, YouTube? Uh, today we're going to be talking about Selvage Denim, and uh, I'm going to be listing off some reasons of why you should purchase your first pair of Selvage Denim uh, in case you haven't already. Um, well, first of all, Selvage is an old style of manufacturing denim. Uh, selvage or self edge describes the outer seam or edge of the woven fabric um, that's made to prevent unraveling. Um, and when these jeans were initially created, um, jeans initially were created as workwear. So people needed something that was strong and sturdy in construction uh, so that it wouldn't break or tear during uh, you know, intense physical labor. Um, so that's why selvage today is very strong construction. You can get a lot of use out of your pair of selvage denim. Um, and also initially, selvage is a cost-cutting measure is to prevent uh, wasting fabric during the manufacturing of the jeans. Um, selvage is actually made or manufactured using old-fashioned shuttle looms uh, that were popular before the 1950s. So in America, as the demand for denim grew, manufacturers created machines that increased the speed of production and optimized production so that they could produce more genes for more people. And as these new looms became popular that, you know, increased the speed of production, these old shuttle looms became obsolete. And many of these were sold overseas to countries like Japan um, during the 1960s and 70s and 80s as denim was progressing in America. So that's why we see a lot of cool denim brands producing salvage jeans coming out of Japan. I like selvage denim uh, because it has a tighter, um, more dense weave. And to me, that makes selvage feel a lot more authentic. Uh, the jeans are a lot heavier. Um, you get a lot better creases, and it, it just has a lot more authentic look. Um, and also, selvage denim, uh, the shuttle looms have imperfections that cause them to look more authentic. And even though selvage is not synonymous with quality, uh, I personally prefer selvage jeans over non-selvage jeans in most cases. I'll give you guys a nice close-up of a selvage denim edge here and um, kind of describe the differences. Non-selvage denim edges aren't crisply finished and therefore they can easily fray, whereas selvage denim edges are nicely bound, um, as you can see, which diminishes the chance that the edges will come unraveled. Um, so in my experience, selvage edges last a little bit longer than non-selvage, which is why I tend to prefer selvage. Here we can get a nice uh, closer shot of a non-selvage edge. And as you can see, it's not finished very nicely. Um, so these edges tend to unravel a little bit easier. Um, and when they come undone, they can kind of be a, a pain. Here you guys can kind of see... Uh, a short side-by-side -side comparison of a pair of my non-selvage denim that I bought a while ago uh, as contrasted with my unbranded black selvage denim. I believe they're about 14 ounce um, selvage denim. Uh, I've worn these unbranded for a while. They last. They're, they're very sturdy. Um, but I think I, that's an opportunity to bring up a point that's kind of been uh, you know rolling around in my head. It's important to remember that selvage is not necessarily justification for a higher price tag. Just because something says selvage doesn't necessarily mean that it's of better quality. Um, so just make sure you check other things um, when purchasing selvage denim to make sure that it meets up to quality standards. Uh, for example, is the denim raw? Um, is it a, a good weight? Uh, is it samphirized? samphirized? You know, other, other things come into mind when determining the quality of a denim. Um, so anyway, uh, this is just the first of, of many videos I'll have about selvage. Uh, if you guys like the video, please hes don't hesitate to hit the like button. Um, comment. Ask me any sort of questions you want. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, thanks again for watching my video. See ya.